Visually stunning AI video models seem to be dropping out of the sky left, right and center. VO 3.1, Sora 2, Kling 2.6. Just as we wrap our heads around the insane capabilities of one model, another one seemingly launches out of nowhere. It can be hard to keep up, but as we enter 2026, it's now the perfect time to weigh up the playing field, dive into their strengths and weaknesses and see which models come out on top. What is up everyone, I'm Ash and here at Veed we create a platform that lets you generate and edit videos with basically every model you can imagine and it's with that insider insight that I'll be generating a bunch of videos and putting those models to the test. In this video there's going to be two key tests, text to video and image to video. All of the models today can do both but the results are going to be very different. With image to video all of the models will be working with essentially the same starting frame giving us an opportunity to look at the subtleties between them. With text to video however we're giving the model a lot less information to work with and therefore a whole load of room for interpretation and that's going to lead to some very interesting results. So some ground rules for our tests. For each model we're going to create two different shots from the same scene. This is so we can test how it handles consistency and different camera angles. In this case the scene is going to be a poignant moment between a woman and her horse in a cinematic western style drama. Perhaps it's a scene from a Hollywood movie, maybe it's a high budget ad, either way it has all of the ingredients to really put our models to the test. Now we all know that sometimes even when you use the same model, the same image and the same prompt you can get some wildly different results. So to avoid showing off a rogue dud I've generated each shot three times and I've only included the best one for each of our tests. And here are some of the key things that we'll be looking out for. First of all the overall visual quality. Does it look photorealistic? How does it handle the textures, the lighting, the shadows? Next the motion. Do the movements within the scene itself look organic? And how does it interpret camera movements too? Prompt interpretation is also super important, like how closely does this generation align with what I was describing and referencing? And finally, we'll be listening out for the audio. Now, not all of the models in today's video generate audio, and for those that do, it is still pretty new tech, but it'll be interesting to hear the results. Right, let's begin, shall we? First up, we're going to be testing text to video. We'll be using the same text prompt for all of the models, and I won't read through it all now, but within it, I talk about things like the camera angle, the lighting, the time of day, the characters within the scene, and the overall cinematic style. And naturally, as we're only using a text prompt for this test, I'm expecting the results to be pretty varied. First up, we're going to test Hylio 2.3. It's the latest video model from Minimax, and it outputs at 768p for 10 second videos, or 1080p for six second videos. This is the only model that doesn't generate audio, so I'll leave the background music running. And let's see how it handles our Western scene. Okay, right off the bat, I'm really impressed by these results. I love the first shot, the colors in particular, like the whole color grade looks incredibly cinematic and I love how the light from the sun peeks through. I feel like in both of the shots as well, the movements of the horse and the person look incredibly organic. Now I will say the woman does stroke the horse in a bit of a weird hand position, but the actual kind of fluidity of her movements do feel incredibly human. One possible thing I could knock it with is that I did struggle with these generations, um, like consistency with what she was wearing. Sometimes she was wearing a jacket, sometimes a shirt, sometimes a hat, but maybe that is something that we could improve with the text prompt being more specific for future generations. Next up, we have Kling 2.6, and this one dropped super recently. It outputs at 1080p and has a video length of up to 10 seconds, and it's their first model that supports audio. So let's see how it handles the prompt. Okay, first impressions is that it doesn't have that same cinematic look as the first one. Like it doesn't look straight out of a film. I will say that I do really like in that first shot, the way the ground and the shrubbery look, they look really photorealistic. And there is some subtleties there with like the, the horse's hair blowing in the wind that do look really nice. I think the close up is a stronger shot with the, how the lighting is kind of positioned. You know, it's retained the fact that the, the sun is coming from the horse's left side. So that does look nice. I was maybe hoping for a little bit more. Right, so let's move on to Sora 2. Now this one has developed a reputation for its crazy viral videos, so it'll be interesting to see how it handles a more cinematic prompt. It can generate videos at up to 20 seconds long at 1080p. Now it does have two versions, the cheaper standard model and the more expensive pro version, and to really see what it can do, we'll be using the pro version. <laughs>
You've carried me through more storms than I can count. I don't reckon I'd be here without you. We're home now, old boy. Okay, well, visually, it looks stunning. I'm really impressed by this. I feel like both the horse and, and the woman look really photorealistic. I love the lighting. Again, as the horse moves and the sun beams through, it looks super realistic. One thing that does let it down a little bit is the consistency between the two. Like the lighting is incredibly different between the two scenes. But I think if you were ranking it in individual shots, it looks fantastic. I think in the close up, the horse looks super detailed. And looking at that second shot as well, I do really love the depth of field that it has. It looks incredibly cinematic. In regards to the audio i feel like maybe in that first clip it's trying too much like the horses sound sound a bit too exaggerated you have the background noise as well and the music and they don't really all sit well together it just kind of sounds like this overall big blanket of noise i must say though in the second clip you know obviously we didn't ask for any dialogue but the delivery sounds fantastic it's really interesting because in the prompt i purposely put that the horse and the woman have a deep bond now that's not really a visual descriptor but sometimes it can help indicate to the model the atmosphere and and the mood of a scene and i think that may have contributed to how she delivers the line because often with ai speech in these video models it can sound a bit robotic it can sound synthetic but here you know as she becomes more breathy it does sound a very emotional delivery so overall super impressed by sora 2. now it is time for google's video model vo 3.1 i personally use this model a lot but mostly when using a reference image so i'm keen to see what it generates purely using a text prompt. It outputs at 1080p and can generate videos up to eight seconds long. And similar to Sora 2, Google has two versions of VO 3.1, but we wanna see what it can do at its best. So we'll be using the better of the two versions. Right, this one's really interesting because in some ways I think it looks fantastic, but one thing that is putting me off is that it feels like maybe there's like too much detail. And what I mean by that is that like if you go into Photoshop or Lightroom or something, there's often a slider that says detail. And if you turn it up, you think, oh yeah, more detail. But you know, it's, it starts to lose that realism. And I feel like this maybe does have a slight synthetic look. There is some elements about it that I do think look absolutely fantastic though. The lighting, first of all, looks amazing. The dust effect in that first shot looks impeccable, super realistic. And it's the same with the breath of the horse that looks very realistic. In that second scene as well, I think like the detail on the horse's face looks really nice. Overall animation looks nice. There's just something about the kind of, maybe it's the depth of field. There's just something about it that doesn't quite look cinematic, which normally VO 3.1 does a very good job of. So that surprises me. Ash here from the future. Originally, I planned to show off one 2.5 next, but since recording this video, WAN has dropped their latest model, 2.6. WAN 2.6 outputs at 1080p, allows for 15 second generations, has native audio, and it's one of the first models to facilitate multi-shot generations. So let's see how it handles our text prompt. Okay, so quite a mixed bag here. I'll start with what I do like. First of all, a lot of the textures in this video look really nice, uh, especially her clothes, like the creases on the dress, they look really realistic. And also the ground as well, like the shrubbery, the dirt, they look very textured and detailed. It is quite a noticeable difference in the color grade between the two different shots. That second shot looks far more cinematic in terms of the colors of the scene. Now onto some of the bits that I don't like so much. And first of all, the horse just seems to be like exhaling continuously throughout that whole first shot. I don't know if it's just been like smoking 20 packs or something. Also the mist itself doesn't quite look as photo real as some of the other examples that we've seen. The woman in the scene is also fairly still throughout the whole kind of first shot. Even when the horse is doing these quite erratic movements, she's like kind of frozen still. So it doesn't really feel like two organic characters reacting to each other in a scene. Audio wise, it's on the weaker side as well like a lot of the sounds sound quite artificial and the actual output on the video was very quiet like i had to boost it so i could actually kind of even hear what was happening so yeah not massively impressed i do feel like that second shot was a lot stronger than the first one and ironically one of the generations i got 
cinematically looked great. I'll show it now. Um, but yeah, a huge issue. There's this headless horse, the second horse that has just appeared. Um, but in terms of visually how it looks, in terms of the lighting and the color grade, it looks wonderful. It looks really cinematic. But yeah, uh, I don't know what happened there in the translation of the prompt. For some reason, we have this weird blob horse also existing. So obviously, can't use that. And yeah, overall, we got some really interesting results. I think the one that caught me most by surprise was Hylio 2.3. I just love the colors in that first shot. Sweet, now it's time for our second test, image to video. We'll still be generating two shots from the same scene, although this time we'll be attaching a reference image alongside our text prompt. I generated these two using Nano Banana Pro, which arguably might give the edge to VO 3.1 as they're both Google models, but I've got to pick one to use, and let's be honest, the results from Nano Banana Pro are often great. And as we're using a reference image, expect the results to be a lot more similar. In fact, this is why I always recommend using one when generating video, because that image dictates so much information for the video. And if you're happy with the first frame, you're much more likely to be happy with the final video. Right, let's kick things off with Hylio 2.3. And just a reminder, this is the only model that doesn't have audio. Okay, this is a really strong start. I think it looks visually great. It retains a lot of the information of the starting images throughout the whole scene. I think the breath of the horse looks really nice, although maybe the AI isn't quite intelligent to, to know that the horse isn't gonna let out this really long, continuous breath. I feel like the second shot really shows some strengths, like there's some really nice organic movements here, whether it's the horse's ears moving or just the way the horse responds to her stroking it. Like it feels like two real creatures in a scene responding to each other, which can be quite rare with AI video. Sweet, let's move on to Kling. 2.6, the newest model of the lot. Now, considering I didn't really like the text of video generation that we got, I think this is looking a lot stronger. I really like how the horse gives this like little nod towards her. Just as I said with the Hylio 2.3 one, it creates a very kind of organic action between the two subjects in the scene. I'm not quite sure about the horse randomly chewing though in that second one, especially because the audio doesn't sound amazing. But overall, I think it handles it pretty well. Let's move on to Sora 2. Now, before we begin, I have to caveat this by saying we currently don't have image to video available for Sora 2 on V. Why? Well, because it currently has a very limiting restriction that reference images can't contain human faces. And well, a lot of the videos that people want to make have humans in them. It was also a massive roadblock for the scene I wanted to make. The second shot was fine for some reason, but it would not generate anything for the first. So as a workaround, I had to remove the woman from the image in Nano Banana Pro and then describe in detail what she looked like and how she enters the scene, which is really not ideal. Either way, let's look at the results. You're still with me, boy. Long road behind us and a longer one ahead. We'll see it through together. Yeah, straight away, not as impressed with this generation as the previous Sora 2 generation. Lots of funky camera movements in that first shot that we really didn't ask for in the text prompt. I will again say that audibly, it sounds great in terms of the dialogue, like the actual scripting is really interesting. And again, the delivery of the line definitely sounds a lot more natural and human-like than a lot of the other examples that we've seen. But yeah, clearly Sora 2 strength is within text to video. With its image to video, it looks a bit more inconsistent. Right, next up, we have VO 3.1. I'm expecting this one to be quite a hard hitter because normally when you use an image, you get some really nice results. So let's see if that's consistent today. Okay, yeah, this one looks exceptionally strong. The breath of the horse looks really nice, the movements. There's like subtle changes in her facial expressions as she approaches the horse and the way they interact with each other as well seems very lifelike. I also think the audio that is added really sells the scene. You know, you have the natural kind of sound of the wildlife. You have the harness moving as she strokes the horse. You also have like the violin swirling. And despite the fact that these are two different clips that have been generated individually, the sound actually kind of seamlessly 
carries between the two. And overall, it just looks incredibly cinematic. Like it looks like a scene from a movie. Big points for VO 3.1 on this one. Hello again, just jumping back in as WAN 2.6 is up next. Let's see how the latest model of the bunch handles image to video. Okay, this is quite an interesting one. First of all, the horse's movements do look realistic, although it's kind of mouth and kind of tug movements at the beginning there. I don't know if that's representative of like actual horse behavior, even though it looks quite fluid. It maybe doesn't feel quite right. I feel like it really excels in this second shot though. There's a really nice poignant moment where the horse blinks and then looks up at the woman and it feels like a genuine moment of eye contact and it really kind of captures the mood of the scene. Maybe a down point in this shot though is the hand. Like it does look incredible be detailed but maybe too that's like over sharpened i've seen some people complain about that with wan 2.6 that it kind of looks too detailed in a way that doesn't quite feel natural and again with the audio like it's nice that it has this native audio but listening to it again we had to boost it quite a lot and it still has this kind of artificial twangy kind of robotic twinge to all of the sound so i'm not sure how usable it actually is so audio wise it's struggling but some of these shots are definitely very nice. Now, rounding up this test, you can probably predict what I'm gonna say. I think VO 3.1 probably took the cake. It just looked really, really good, incredibly cinematic, and just really consistent as well. Halio 2.3 surprised me, looks very nice. And you know, if they can nail the audio in their next model, they might have a really strong video model on their hands. Sora 2 was a bit of a letdown considering the text to video one looks so good. And Kling was a big improvement. You know, that first video we saw definitely wasn't as strong, but when it had a reference to work with, well, looked a lot more consistent. Of course, with so many types of videos, scenes, and settings, this test just scratches the surface of what some of these models can do. Do let me know in the comments if you want more comparison videos like this, so for say fight scenes or social media style videos. Make sure to check out Veed in the description, it's the perfect playground to try out these models yourself, all priced as low as possible, and it comes with a sick editor so you can fully edit your generations together. As always, make sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.